Hey everyone, RJ here with CB Tech, and in my hands is two new mobile G3s, and I'm going to do a simple test. Let's get started. Okay everyone, so this here is a requested video, and so I thought I'd put both of these new mobile G3s together to run this test side by side. So here on the right, we have the Sapphire Blue new mobile G3. This one's been out for quite some time and is running Android 7.1.1 Nougat. On the left here is the updated new mobile G3 and it's running 8.0.0 Oreo. And I'm gonna run just a couple of benchmark tests, you know, on these two devices here to see if there's any kind of um, improvements as far as benchmark scores. Now I know the benchmark scores does not reflect how the phone's performance will be is just giving you an idea between a f this phone or that phone, you know, how high or low the scores are. So you can't really take any of this here for actual facts of how the phone will run, but these are just kind of fun tests to run here. And one being on Nougat, one being on Oreo, being the same phone with the same processors and RAM and storage and everything. I'm interested to see just if there's really any difference between the two devices. So let's go ahead and get in with this test. Okay, so I'm on the home screen here and before I went any further, I wanted to kind of point out, of course, you see this is the same exact wallpaper here on both devices, but the new red updated version seems to have a better color. It seems to have darker darks. It seems to have more vibrant colors. Uh, the best of my knowledge is the same kind of display, but for some reason, they're both the same brightness and everything else. But the, the, the newer version just seems to actually look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and scroll on over to our benchmarks. Okay, so for the first test, we're going to run an N22 benchmark test. Uh, all the cache has been cleared. The phones are 100% ready to go. Let's go ahead and start in with this test here. I uh, got to allow, allow here. Go ahead and see, you can see right here, uh, maybe not on camera, but this one right here has like i mean you can't even tell where the bezels start and stop just about over here you're seeing that it's not quite as dark i can see where the bezels stop and start so i don't know they they must have done something different with the screens um, because this one looks a lot more vibrant a lot more clear uh, looking at both of them side by side here you can kind of see how more washed out this one looks compared to this one i don't know but uh anyway let's go ahead and just get in with this test start now now this test will take a few minutes, so I may speed it up or I may cut out here and there and kind of like just see which one's ahead and stuff like that here in this test. So um, already getting it started here uh, on the red new G3. And so hopefully this test will run okay. So now we got them both started up here. Let's go ahead and turn these side by side. Now the one on the bottom, of course, is the red new G3 and the one on the top is the blue new G3. And so, yeah, um, I'm going to kind of speed this up. So let's just go ahead and do this thing. Okay, so the tests now are done. And as you see here on the newly updated red new mobile G3, we got a score of 82,312. And on the uh, earlier version here of the new G3, we got 77,206. So Oreo running here, Nougat running here. It does show a higher score. Not a not a much higher score, but at least it is higher. So let's go ahead and run one more test. Let's go over to Geekbench 4 and see what kind of test we get there. Okay, and so you can see right here, of course, to prove it, you know, OS is Android 8.0.0, OS 7.1.1, and both of them are octa-core, 1.69 gigahertz, and 2.39 gigahertz, 1.69 gigahertz, and 2.39 gigahertz there as well. So let's go ahead and run this benchmark test now. Okay, so the benchmark here is finished up, and you will see a little bit more difference here uh, on the updated new mobile G3, we've got a single core score of 947 and a multi-core score of 3722. That's right along with the Galaxy S7 multi-core score. So that's pretty impressive. And over here on the older version of the new mobile G3, we got 900 single core score and 3251 multi-core score. So not too far off here on these scores, but of course the new, the new version of the new mobile G3 did score better in both benchmarks. So I'm really interested to see just how that's going to affect performance on both of these phones. So, so I am going to do a speed test comparison between these two phones here. 
running Oreo versus 7.1, the same app, same Wi-Fi, uh, the same kind of test I do sometimes on certain phones. But I want to see if, you know, the higher benchmark scores on the new new mobile G3 uh, makes a difference in gaming as far as, and as well as app openings between the older new mobile G3. So stay tuned for that video as it will be coming soon as well. So if this was helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions that you may have, leave it below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that bell for post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.